I've got the brand new Wrestle Crate UK Wrestling Mystery Box. So this is actually the July 2021 box. And to start off, I want to give a huge shout out to Richard, who actually works for Wrestle Crate UK, who once again sent me over all the way from the UK to the US a box to review on my YouTube channel. So this box is a lot of fun every single month. You always get an autographed photo every month. Past months since I've been getting these sent to me, I've gotten Kurt Angle, I've gotten out Kane, I've gotten out, I think what well, last month is Ken Shamrock. There's that's some pretty that's some pretty big names, seriously. And most of those I actually needed for my collection because I didn't have them already. So that's even better. So this one, once again, has an autograph. There will be an exclusive t-shirt. They always throw in extra goodies on top of that. So as always, I'm going to leave a direct link down below in the description box if you want to get your very own at Wrestle Crate UK. And if you have never bought one before, I actually have a promo code that is the word franchise. Use franchise on your very first box that you purchase and they will give you an extra free autograph and what i was told it won't just be some random joe blow autograph that you've never heard of it's going to be from the likes of like i said earlier actually kurt angle kane you're going to have some decently big name like wwe legends all stars that you will know who they are so that's a nice little perk so use like i said promo code franchise on your first box purchase to get a bonus autograph in your box are you do this? Let's see what the July 2021 Russell Cret UK has inside of it. Super excited. These are always fun boxes. I always appreciate them. And is that the t-shirt? Yep, t-shirt. Okay, we'll do t-shirt first. I actually just recently cleaned out my closet. I have like over like 200 t-shirts in my closet, literally. I have over 200. I cleaned out a whole bunch recently. Some older t-shirts I haven't worn before. I cleaned out some like old WWE t-shirts from like a decade ago. And I listed a whole bunch in my eBay store. They'll be drilling down below to my eBay store. Especially if you're into wrestling t-shirts. I've got dozens listed right, right now on eBay. Some are like new. I think there actually are some brand new shirts. As I was going through my closet, I actually found... I actually found some brand new shirts I never wore. <laughs> Crazy. And some of them are actually are some bigger sizes because I've actually, I've lost weight over time. And some of the t-shirts actually are 5XL. So if you are a bigger size, I got some t-shirts to fit you. And here we go. What t-shirt did we get? As always, my favorite color t-shirt are black t-shirts. And we got a black t-shirt. Who do we have? Who do we got this month? Exclusive t-shirt only available at WrestleCrate UK. Oh, sweet. We got Leo Rush. That looks nice. Man of the Hour, Leo Rush. Yeah, his story is actually kind of sad. Like, he finally appeared on AEW. What was it? Maybe six weeks ago? Two months ago? Was it early June? May? I can't remember now. He appeared one time on AEW. And he abruptly retired, like, the next week. I think... He had some kind of an injury, I think, happened. I really can't remember. But it's actually, it's, it's kind of sad. I mean, he's still very young for the wrestling business. So hopefully, Leo Rush, over time, injuries heal and he can make a comeback because he is a very talented wrestler. He'd be a great addition to anybody. Even going back to WWE, if that's what he ever chose to do, re-sign with AEW, going Impact, ROH, New Japan. There's a lot of places for him to go here and do a lot of good business. So... This t-shirt alone, honestly, if you go to most stores like Hot Topic that sells wrestling t-shirts, you're spending 20 to 25 bucks for a t-shirt. So like this t-shirt in the store, that's at least 20 bucks. Lots of time these t-shirts alone almost make the entire value of the box sometimes. Craziness, right? And we've got a poster. Item number two. Let me gently try to take this out. I don't want to damage the poster. Gently. I'll show you first what poster did we get. Looks like it goes this way from looking through the back of it. And we have... Oh, that's... That's awesome. We have a Lycos gem. This is Kid Lycos. That is crazy looking. This thing would look freaking sweet autographed. That is a fantastic print. That's a fantastic... Is the artist on here? I don't see an artist's name, but whoever did that, man, you freaking killed it. 
So that's kind of what's fun with the Russell Crate UK. You'll get some different stuff sometimes, like some of these posters, like this poster here, exclusive to this box. That t-shirt, exclusive to this box. Ooh, we got a DVD. Oh, the front says, best of Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is one of the most talented wrestlers in the world. I freaking love Kenny Omega. Best of Kenny Omega in a PWS. This is the definitive collection of Kenny Omega spanning from 2007 2015. Omega had many amazing matches in Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Let's see. Oh, you got one with Velvet Sky, Davey Richards, Jerry Lynn. The freaking cleaner is a god among men when it comes to wrestling. And we have Pro Wrestling Australia PWA. We got a little promo card advertising. Pro Wrestling Australia. Then we have a monthly pin. It says there are, back says there's two to collect, the original and the chase edition. And it says DX Military V. Everybody knows this pin. Back in the WWE Attitude Days with the uh, Monday Night Wars, Tank had um, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I think China was on it too, right? They invaded WCW. That tank is iconic. That's cool. So actually the Chase Edition was black and white pin. But honest opinion, I think the actual regular looks better than the Chase pin because you need that green and you need that freaking like camouflage because that's actually what, you know, DX was like known for green and then of course they wore camo, especially on uh, the tank invasion of WCW. That's sweet. I like that. That's actually pretty cool. We're not done yet. We have a monthly. Oh, is this the Inside the Ropes magazine? I think it is. Inside the Ropes, right? Yes, nice. Actually, somebody reached out to me that works for Inside the Ropes Wrestling magazine a few months ago, and I lost that email that they sent me. So if you work for Inside the Ropes, contact me again because that email, I don't know what happened to it. It got deleted, got buried. I can't find it, but somebody from this magazine actually reached out to me a few months ago email me again reach out please and oh we have uh, nice rob van dam we gotta do it together you ready in three two one rob van dam he is a freaking legend icon i actually i met him in las vegas at starcast too he was incredible to me, and uh, we actually had a conversation about WWE. I asked him, I was like, Rob, will you ever go back to WWE? Like, I hope you don't. Um, I'd rather really see your talents elsewhere. And he kind of smiled and smirked. And he, I can't remember. I can't remember what he said word for word. So don't worry about this. But it was something like, "Don't worry, I'm not. Don't or don't worry." I'm I'm good. Something along those lines. I can't remember word for word. So do not mark my words, but. The way he sounded, he will never go back to WWE, at least as a full-time or part-time wrestler. Yeah, Rob Van Dam, if you're a wrestling fan, try to meet him if you can. We have another autograph picture. I'm not sure who this is, actually. This is probably probably a UK independent wrestler, I'm guessing. Sometimes this box has local independent talent in the UK in it that I'm not too familiar with. This is from Extreme... Looks like TNT Extreme Wrestling is where he wrestled. I'm not sure who that is, but pretty cool picture. And here we go with the cheat sheet. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Show you the inside of this. That's what we're looking at the rest of this video. We got the Rob Van Dam hands-on artwork. That's my favorite item from this box. That looks really, really good. Leo Russ exclusive t-shirt. Then we got the Kino Omega Best of DVD. Okay, this, this, this gentleman is... Clint Margera, actually, there's not too many Clint's in the world. My first name is Clint. You don't meet too many Clint's in this world. Clint Margera, hand signed portrait, celebrate deathmatch wrestler Clint Margera's TNT Extreme Division Championship win this past month with this exclusive hand signed portrait from the champ. This is Clint Mar Margera. Then you got the DX Invasion tank lapel pin, Lycos Gym poster. Inside the Ropes Magazine and a PWA Black Label exclusive event. That was that card I showed you earlier. So that was the July 2021 Russell Craig UK. That's a good box. I like this one. This one was full of value. 
once again, they hit it out of the park. Huge shout out to Richard over at WrestleCrate UK for sending me out another box to review on my YouTube channel. This is my honest, unbiased opinion. If you're a wrestling fan, this is a good box. Honest opinion. So I'll see you next month with another WrestleCrate UK.